Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Real Estate and I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message and during this video we are going to address the question of why are prices high despite unemployment being high? Let's get right into the video but first if you know anyone looking to buy or sell then do call me. My number is 416-671-5218 and let's get right into the video. So what does this look like on the ground? It looks like more bidding wars and home selling faster with far more buyer competition. This of course doesn't mean that every property is selling with 10 offers in three days. As always, there are some segments of the market that are slower than others, but as a whole, the market is quite competitive, which of course raises an important question. Why is the real estate market booming when the unemployment rate is at 14%? History has shown us that the housing markets usually cool down when the unemployment rate increases. And this makes sense as with an increase of number of people losing their jobs, fewer buyers can afford to buy a home and more owners usually need to sell their homes when they can no longer afford their mortgage after a prolonged period period of unemployment. So why is the opposite happening? Some people are pointing to the very low interest rates around 2% for a five year mortgage as the cause for the surge in demand. But low interest rates don't create demand. If you've lost your job over the past two months, you're not going to suddenly jump back into the market and buy a home because the rates are lower. You can't get a mortgage without a job. The more likely explanation is that the vast majority of jobs that have been lost in Canada were in the lower paying frontline service jobs. Many of the buyers that agents are working with have not been really impacted by the job losses. They're primarily in jobs where working from home is an option, so we've not seen a loss to their income. So how will the housing market progress from here? I expect the summer and the fall to remain very competitive. And the one thing that may cool things down is a spike in new listings. Although in most areas, there's very low inventory. As for the fall market, there's two risks on the horizon. First, when the government supports support for businesses and individuals who've lost their job comes to an end, only then will we know how many households are impacted and have permanently lost their income as a result of this COVID crisis. Second, households who've deferred their mortgage payments are going to see their deferrals come to an end this fall. But while we were very concerned about the fall market about a month ago, I am somewhat less concerned for a couple of reasons. First, as businesses open up, I'm expecting household spending to increase more and more and more businesses starting to make money again. I don't think things will necessarily be back to normal, but I don't think that there'll be any worse than they were a couple of months ago. The economy will start to recover, which means it's unlikely for demand to be lower tomorrow than it is today. There may be some tenants and homeowners who are unable to pay their rent or mortgage after all the government support comes to an end but I'm not convinced that this alone is enough to put downward pressure on home prices. Me, myself, I'm hearing that many of the households deferring their mortgage today are doing this to be cautious, not because they can't afford their mortgage payments. But the one big unknown, of course, is if we see a second COVID-19 wave. That is worse than the first, which would obviously be an additional stress on an already stressed healthcare system and economy. And it's really hard to imagine what things will look like and if that even does happen. But the best we can do for now is to monitor developments closely so stay tuned as I'll continue to keep you updated bi-weekly and if you need more information pertinent to your scenario then feel free to of course just call me I'm at 416-671-5218 and as well hey if you can think of anyone selling their home we've got buyers but we don't have a lot of homes to show them so call me call me call me my number is 416-671-5218 and if you're an agent that's watching this I'm looking for agents to partner with so if you're considering a brokerage move then do call me as well my number is 416-671-5218 text or email me whatever's best and if you're watching this and you know somebody else that may find the information helpful then do um, forward the email over to them if you've received this by email or you can share the video across your social media do click subscribe click like and comment on YouTube all your comments are much appreciated and I will look forward to seeing you all next time